Bless greetings, everyone. This story here is called Run That Race. Once upon a time, there was a young athletic boy who was always hungry for success, and for him, winning was everything, and success was measured just by winning. One day, the boy was preparing himself for a yearly running competition in his neighborhood. Himself and a few other boys were to compete. As usual, a large crowd had gathered to witness the race. And a wise old man that heard so much of this little boy had traveled from far to witness the boy in action. The race began. The athletic boy was falling behind but was so near to the finish line. But sure enough, the boy dug deep and called on his determination, his strength, and his power. He took to win and was first. The crowd was ecstatic and cheered and waved at the boy. The wise man remained still and calm expressing no sentiment. However, the little boy felt proud and important. A second race was called with much more athletic boys than the little boy. And they also joined the race. The race started and surprisingly enough, the little boy came through and finished first again. Once again, the crowd was ecstatic and cheered the boy. But the wise man remained still and calm again, expressing no emotions, no sentiment. The little boy, however, felt proud and important and began to shout, another race, another race. Who wants to be next? Another race. The wise old man stepped forward and presented the little boy with two challengers. One was an elder lady and frail. The other was a blind man. What is this? quizzed the little boy. This is no race, no competition, he exclaimed. Race, the wise man said. The race was started and the boy was the only finisher. While the other two challengers were left at the starting line. The little boy was ecstatic and raised his hands in victory. The crowd, however, were silent, showing no sentiment toward the little boy. The boy asks, what has happened? Why the people do not join in my success? He asked the wise old man. Race again, replied the old man. But this time, finish together. All three of you, finish together. Now race. The little boy thought a little, then he stood between the two challengers and then took them both by the hand. The race began and the little boy walked slowly, ever so slowly, towards that finish line. And crossing it, all three of them together, the crowd was ecstatic and waved at the boy. The wise man smiled while gently nodding his head and said, how do you feel? And the boy said, I feel proud and important. Old man, I understand not though. Who do the crowd cheer for? Which one of us three? The wise old man looked him 
into his eyes, and placing his hands on the boy's shoulders, he replied softly, Little boy, for this race you have won much, much, much more than in any race you've ever ran before. And for this race, the crowd cheers not just for one achiever. You see, in life, in your life, what are you running for? Are you hungry for success? Is winning the only measurement for you? Is winning the only important thing for you in life? And who are you running against? And if you always win against everybody, then soon people will stop cheering for you. At the end of your life, if you look back, the question is, who was running next to you in this race? If they were weaker and old, did you help them? to get across the, the line? Did you all finish together? Because that is the best race one could ever run. So run, run this race called life. But don't forget, it's not important if you win. But what's much, much, much more important is how you ran the race. As usual, servant David said, manners, love, and elevation. Thanks for watching. I'm going to walk good, yeah? Servant David out.